player, 40, 30, 20, and 20. It's like, it's all over the place. Whereas with Carmen Core, everyone was kind of like pulling their own. Benji on Cypher, they're, they're Party Tech, very different, uh, the Viper, oh, yeah, man. The uh, I mean, I like so the an op, Martin like or Narek could get an op out, it would be pretty this, good because the stuns going are going to be hard to actually work, to actually the hit them on the fence. Is going to be, uh, able to do with the Cypher, but it's more like on the tamed side of things from what we've been seeing. And it's also the third duelist that Minibu has been playing. I do think this has its weaknesses, but I also think EMEA I like what they're doing. They're don't they have the double controller heavily the and exploit the that sometimes, so or at least teams won't. Different trap setups. Yeah. Uh, off like the single initiator the the trap without a drone. Uh, with a raise comboing, like they have really good synergies here. So if you know that I really think if, if they get an op out on the fence here in terms of K Corp, they could farm heavy, like 15 on the fence. It's gonna be surely, maybe more. How, uh, the Yoru is Judge here, yeah, man, the I didn't want to say it, but the Yoru yeah, Judge here what, really would, <laughs> really would. If I'm Yoru here, I'm, if I'm Yoru or the Rays here, I'm Judge op only. What Breach is going to stun or flash me? As long as I'm not my age, turn from the flash, and when I'm stunned, I'll still one shot. I'm just surprised. I think I match. All these birthday wishes, Tom, and she leaves out Ryan Central. I mean, I just cannot believe it. After all this time, yeah, we're just gonna forget. Honestly, that was good. I forgot her names as well. Like, what else is there? She's having a rough day, man. She's having a rough day. Got to give her a break. Look, Casey and Heretic's gonna be kicking off, and I'm so excited for this one. It's a battle of underdogs, but in the upper okay. bracket. Okay. Oh, Heretic's on defense. Cake up on attack. At start uh, to the season. This has already been for Heretic's and Casey just the other day. Now we're kicking it damn. off in the Smoke, big leagues. A double satchel. The Stun towards bottom and middle. Good luck to Benji. Yeah, he got so much util shot his way. The fake TP really wrecked him. It's a great omen flash. Okay, nice. He handled. I gotta gotta shout out Boo here. His flash was incredible. Shin did good, but the flash was flash was too much in my opinion. I sort of want to go back to what you're mentioning at the beginning. Like for these teams, this is a chance to the cams they'll fix them because the playoffs are only again. I think they have to do it manually. Obviously, the goal is get your way to Madrid. Is it get yourself to one of those Masters events, especially the first one? I feel like there might be slightly more opportunities with maybe a few teams not. Wait, do they have? Buy heretic skins on their the jersey. Either of these teams, I think it's still a great start, especially considering the last year. Yeah, both of them have, a, have <laughs> had a tough history. Four. They'll take top four, I'm telling you. If now. karma is real, <laughs> this is an example of it. I'll tell you that. They're, they're Down bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eco on this one. Um, sure, they can have a death. They're allowed one death. Anything above one death is a good bit of impact. It's going to have to take some of the load as they move in towards the B site alongside Mini Boo up top. The brothers defending B. Can KC break through this? And with only classics, you don't imagine much will be done. Oh, just the orb found, in fact. Yeah, going to be retrieving that up. Seems that obviously Shin was the one who got the majority of the kills in the last, so the Cosmic Divide might not necessarily be the most helpful. And this works out pretty well, because if you kind of look at Heretics' comp, Yoru, um, once quite you create useful. question marks like this, this comp can't clear them, really. they got to go face check you. So doing a lot of fake pressure in terms of K Corp, you're probably going to see that all the time. Trying to trade out effectively. Eng knows what he's doing. There'll always be a pretty good game plan behind it. That's the one kill they were allowed, and it was literally on the person that had the ghost. So they save all the guns. Sure, he gets caught out in the open in the end, but he gave up the Are they going to switch to the new patch during kickoff? Yeah, not, <laughs> not entirely sure what's going to go down. And a very good start for Heretics. The morale high and their economy looking very pretty. Yeah, I, I think the interesting thing with both these teams' comps is obviously running that. I don't know when they'll. And only don't know when they'll switch. Team kind of acts as a quasi initiator. Tech pause. But it's going to be one of those situations where yeah. it can be quite difficult if you lose that player to get yourself in initially 
onto the site. It's our first tech pause of the year. Yeah, Tom, I, took can, a few I days. can't help it but feel a few it. days. Well, you know, just like the rain, you've brought it with you, Tom. I don't know. Uh, I don't yeah, know it what was to like say. that. The night, who's that Pokemon? The outline. That was sick. To Pansy is the reason that it's I... spreading. It's spreading. <laughs> I don't like it, but Wait. it's okay. Well, it's, it's one of those things. I, I, I think that you kind of look at the compositions and that's going to be one of the major things. We've seen it in the past with Sky, but obviously Sky had that sort of good mix of information and also the flashes. So you kind of have that on the side of KC while running that Yoru. You, you get the flashes alongside, well, I, I guess an alternative, what was the Jet in this sort of composition. Whereas I feel like with Heretics, it's going to have to be very segmented and very reliant on basically re setting up Miniboo when they go onto that attack side. For the defense, their composition is fantastic though. An unbelievable amount of delay. Like you're talking about basically having a quasi sentinel on either side of the map. You're gonna Are get the VCT classic oh, skins Benji limited? Um, I think I think what they said is it's here for the whole like of this year. In the form of Omen as a solo B site hold because you can delay for an awful amount of time and if they do manage to get past everything, so, you have to power Yeah, I guess 2024 20, so limited I'm sort of is interested like more Chase so said with how both these teams are going to run their compositions when it comes to the attack. Like, is that Omen going to be used as part of the setup? Because it feels like it needs to be... No info initiator? Stars. Yeah, definitely it has really its... Uh, problematic. Definitely you know, has its... KC as well, like, Martin, we saw a little bit from him, and it becomes It's difficult. weaknesses. Uh, as you play the Yoru more and more, for teams... Or for you to make the same things work, right? Like, yeah. it, this character becomes much more predictable. There's only certain angles... Assume there might be more team captures next year. I imagine they do skins every year. It's going to be a challenge, certainly and then they like just Benji, change up what skin it is. Finds that value from stopping you getting through yeah. those choke points. I guess the one value, though, for Heretics... Obviously, they haven't had a mass amount of time. But it's at least they've seen KC play this. Like, th this is one of the few maps... Like, yep. I always have what are the strengths of it? Like, oh, how many uh, double control... Do double controller and... But and like a cipher anyway. insanely insanely, insanely in strong and actually and just so like holding map control play versus giant x and also it went pretty much every single round so that's the one thing they have is that little bit of extra but it can't re-clear the map control Weber when it loses map control Zinio sort of slaving away in the back lines to try and come up that pretty much i mean that pretty much works like, you you can but you have to use bodies anybody has brought in a yoru in the park thank you so much for the 12 months appreciate it appreciate it with the tier one okay they've completely caught them i think back to draken playing it on haven and they had that chat really give me cool, one minute yeah they had that let's cool see. cosmic divide let's see if i can be back in time under heaven on the a site it was one of the coolest things i've ever seen he did it in the next game and someone shorted him in the face yeah because they knew where he was going they knew where his tp landed and they just went oh he's gonna land here because that's where the whole strat lies you can't change it because you've got your lineup if you'd have to have a whole new lineup that goes somewhere else so that's always the thing is keeping it a little bit more unique but also I think some of the cool stuff we saw yesterday on maps like Sunset is sometimes you can throw in something that seems like the same strategy and then just do it slightly differently. And I think Gentlemates did an excellent job of that, even though their defense didn't go fantastically well, was they had these cool TPs and the first time you take it, the second time, well, you got in a tank jumping around the corner on a raisin and shooting you in the face because you're like, oh, I've got him. I'm waiting for his TP. It's on the floor. I need to oh, I didn't expect some guy to just come out of nowhere and kill me. So that's what I'm looking for for Carmine Court with this composition is, do you have that little bit of extra depth to almost use what you've done in the past to mind game your opponents? We'll let you guys at home know as well that over on the side of KC, I believe there was some audio issues. So the league admins have been looking into it in the background, just getting those ironed out. Make sure that's not a, an issue as the series moves on. Obviously, round two, kind of where you want to iron out those problems. And then moving into the next, that's where KC get a real challenge. Of course, their buy round is going to be up next. And yeah, for this squad, there's a ton of questions. I think going back to that, the discussion around your, I think one of the main problems is when it doesn't work, you're not going to be able to take the space and trade the same way as you would be with the jet or something like that. Not even close. But we talked a lot and the audio issues are still persisting. So we're going to toss this over to the analyst desk. Who's on the desk? Pavlos and Ash. <laughs> Do you know what? I I knew, I just knew they were going to do that. I knew. I, I was like, I, there's 100% chance that Tom or Mitch is going to say uh, to Pavlos and Ash, but hey, I deserve that. Uh, but I know it's only been two rounds, um, but uh, we always love talking about Medi Safai with the like Prime. Thank Josh, you so much, bro. Appreciate you. you. Can just talk Thanks for the support. Thanks the for the Prime round, usage. Uh, and what you liked, what you didn't like, and if there's anything that confirmed maybe a little bit of our suspicions on what they were going to do, uh, we're going to show it to you in just a second. We have it somewhere. Yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, there were a couple of cool things that we saw. So we saw the defense. I was talking about how they might do like these passive things, these retakes, these traps. But Raze is getting down there. Market is smoked off. Raze clears all of sewers. Then, because they've cleared most of the map out, they've got this rotate all the way back to B. And right Spooze here, as thinking, well. Oh, Spooze wow, okay, Twitch with the Prime. Thank really you for the seven months as well, mate. Appreciate the support, dude. The thank you, thank you. But they get locked out at the choke point. They don't seven months as well. Thank you very much, mate. It's only the Raze out there. So that five versus four man advantage that they have becomes a four and four. And that comes down to two on two so it's like it could go either way but it's not like one team outplayed the other team both teams did what's things going on really cool. just a little the, little audio the tech pause to just play the one three one setup on defense they clear out all of middle to they're going to destroy anybody that's out there Back. with their teamwork and then if it's nobody's middle Back. it's either all a or pause. all b at that point they have the cypher set up on b and there's a oh, super boy. fast rotation coming in through heaven pause. and then the vipers playing retake oh. a from screens and if anything happens towards a she keeps screens control everyone rotates either through sewers raise was already there could get a nice flank off is there <laughs> is there a problem <laughs> no sorry it's just uh, the is, time is it a trigger that, word no, for you no, the, 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 the s word or something no like yeah it's just <laughs> the first time i've heard you say help in sewers so I just, <laughs> yeah it just i'm not super used to it yeah, carry on. Uh, it wasn't me that said it okay <laughs> i'll have you know it wasn't me sorry carry on carry on that was a freebie for chat and then they would all be able to <laughs> rotate up through vents so that they'd have the the nice rotation through heaven through screens and potentially a flank as well doing a multi-prong retake but the execution came on to b and they had th the fade eye combo with i think there was something else as well the cypher wasn't able to instantly take out the fade eye which means that he gets revealed and uh, yes, fake your wood wall. so everything looked pretty good from both teams got down to a two versus two where you know it, it came down to just guns at that point so we're gonna see something pretty interesting from both these teams yes pistol round and usually like first or second gun rounds are you spend more time working on that and then the later phases of the game it's more adaptations what's going on yeah we, we might do that just little things do we, we want might to do that. some fix or not, whatnot that's when we're going to see those types of interesting things but if this is what we're starting out with on round one we then can get a good game right yeah, yeah we're in store for good things mm. yeah i like the depth like for example they, like right at the end you're like why why cannot they get an on site we see like the the um the Viper Molly on, on the floor and now they have to second guess and they have to wait, okay, let's put the star and we can cross. But also the good communication and the fact that heretics had their head in the game, boosts instant response and says, no, come walk with me. Let's let's not let them do it. And that actually ends up in, in a favorable situation for them. But yeah, I think it's still obviously very, very early in the game to, to make more conclusions. But I think it's looking good. I think it's gonna be a banger. I mean, this is what we talked about, right? How well prepared are these Yoru. teams? Oh, That's the what, Yoru. I, yeah, it was the yes. Yoru. So the Cypher turned around and looked at the fake Yoru TP, and when that happened, the Fade Eye came in, and that's what scanned him out. That's what scanned out Benji Fishy. Yeah, I, I mean, this is what you guys also... Good synergy. <laughs> but this is what you Sorry. spoke about. Like, both of these teams, they looked good the first time we saw them. Three but, minutes you know, of looking damn. good once on an opening day where your nerves could be uh, played into factor as well. And again, we hear teams go like, oh, if we play against each other 10 times, you know, we could beat each other five times each. So, uh, but this is why it matters, right? Because the mix if you well. win this game, you skip the play in Dude, that's a new meta. You go straight to playoffs and you can the crowd for the watch party watch what everyone else is doing you have more time with the mix or stream to, uh, see uh, what you're going to be going up against whereas if you lose Chat, that could be us game today, how many people can we fit back here be eliminated before the next <laughs> it, it, you're just not <laughs> trying, trying to work it out you're never what is safe. It like I think nine it's very important to challenge everything that you've maybe nine like, of like us they want to do on the split again if the other day there was mistakes is that if there's any other they need to know as soon as possible because Everything needs to be ready. This is not only making it out of <laughs> all the mods, all the mods just on the their phone, just modding. Are you going to be <laughs> ready? Like, is your map? How is your map going to be looking? How is your team going to be adapting on the fly to everything? Not only the. Th oh, for God's sake! I got my own tech pause. What is this? what your personal preferences are when it comes to um steel is being naughty over here you guys can't see this we will show it in a second uh but do you do you feel like uh Kukuka and josh is the is the soul when you go to international events mm. is to have as many things as possible that you haven't shown so teams around the world when they're trying to anti try you when they're trying to see how you play your protocols they, let, let's say you know it is possible for a team only to play what three or four games before they go to madrid mm -hmm. or do you think it's more important to get as many refs as you can especially as a new team why nivir and scream not competing showing. anymore i, I mean they, the they couldn't they didn't get onto a team to test if what you basically have done is good enough you have to test
as what the counter, what the new counters and the new adaptations are going to be into that. And if you're not able to see past that and to look for the next answer that that follows in that. Dude, domain, when I when I drew this originally, it wasn't a so it wasn't a pink background. Well, my personal philosophy with like in-game leading teams and just getting things uh, on the board, it's important to have like you, you focus uh, your energy on like the most important things that will have the most drastic impact and that will have the longest lasting impact. So obviously going over something like pistol rounds, eco rounds, anti-ecos and like first gun rounds are very important because you're going to play those pretty much in every single game. So making sure that you have a good like foundation to build upon is really important. And another thing that you need to do is you need to work on like basic protocols. So protocol is a reaction on defense. If you lose control of this area, what are ways that we can like how do we want to deal with that we can deal with it this way or we could deal with it that way that nah, mean, okay, it's too cold here we for that. Reclear an area maybe that's okay we give wait until summer then yeah for sure at a certain point in the round so i would focus inwards on that and on ourselves being just stronger fun what's the pause for well i mean so Headset, far it seems like both audio teams issues are doing just that the tech pause is over and it's time nice. to jump uh, back into game i believe with uh uh, uh brennan sideshow is it Thank you so much, Golden Boy, and you our look, analyst desk. Yes, you look we've short, got Brent. Tina. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a good day till then, Tom. I was, this moment, that's when the day has been good. Two to zero. Team oh, Heretics versus KC. And look, we've seen a little bit of a tech pause, but we're back into things now. KC, they've got Shin popping off. He's got a kill for every teammate that he's got. The only one to show up so far, but it's only been two rounds. The last one, they had a classic, and they got okay. absolutely so shut down. So let's kind of tune back in. we got our first big buy round. Shin has Michael's his Astro. Head. And as you said earlier, Tom, thanks to those four kills, thanks to the orb farming of KC as well. Shin and has yeah, someone asked what this comp is good at, and see over towards middle, this is what it's good at. Like Viper smoke over towards middle. You can refresh that with an omen, then you kind of have the breach done in front of it once they push through. It's very good. At holding on to map control. There are some players it is here ready. And not good is at re-clearing this question mark that, that has just been made over towards B-Men. Kind of so so as soon as... So a lot of the rounds you're going to see from K-Corp are going to be like slow. It's going to be like map control into here, here. If they can try and take vents right either world, they do this. And then we'll kind of be split up in terms of the defense. Of the, the peak time is going to be everything. And just seeing that little bit of utility is enough for him to fall back now on completely. They pop the orb as well just to try and slow left. them that little more. Guys, this is very slow, yeah, though. <laughs> there is 25 Lisa, seconds before they hit over towards the site. They go to hit over towards the B. The we got stun, damage, flash, this nade. This is dumb, surely. The There's the stun. Still very Th this is legit melons. <laughs> this is this is the melons, man. We're back, surely. Nade to stop the plant. <laughs> For God's sake. Not again. Same map, same team, different year, different lineup. Oi. Wait, 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 wait. bit of information that was garnered by mini boot Damn. was enough for them to just okay we could just dedicate to this side of the map if they try and rotate that late towards the a site it's going to leave them in exactly the same scenario and mini boot just holding on to his nade that was basically it do he we um, for the rest of the round and then just drop there's a timeout the after this i reckon they were able to really i reckon plant. for the big buy potential timeout we'll see back on the other side yep. so if they tried to plant it there he would have double satchel off. they decide to go fast it's a nice it trade yeah, shout out to Mini Boofer fully sending this through the Astro Smoke. No longer in play, and we've already seen that Viper Util do so much to the side of KC in some of the earlier rounds, just in slowing them down, and that's been the main problem, getting out onto sites. Four versus four, but a rifle picked up, and with two in hand, they might stand a chance in some of these duels. Yeah. Again, though, and so over towards patient, here, question mark. But they can't really clear. Utility. They have a trip. They want to go aggro. Fresh. They want to start getting a bit of information. The round, and I don't know if that's and we are... Or to how Let's see what the setup is. Like see what the setup and what the timing's like. Time is going to be everything. Showstopper is available. Might not even be needed. Benji has managed to get two. Sure. Wow. From the grave. Sure, Benji that's kind of fine. Yeah, considering... Um, I love this. They're not just sitting back and waiting for their... I feel like everyone will take that. K-Corp will take that as a bit of a win. 
they've got heretics will be happy that they won the round Benji, so they're just going looking for it constantly moving around the like map. That, it kind uh, of relies, it, it reminds this is me a win-win win for both teams really split, where you played like a rain, a rain, nice bit of um okay, nice bit of change of pace really as well from really k-cop with the double satchel towards, towards middle and you have to be dynamic and you have to have One good calls and that's exactly what they had in that round yeah especially when we've seen some of those other rounds where they do just sit back and wait you know a different flair to it is what we like to see and for KC remember though they are, they had mostly pistols going into that previous round smoke over towards B we just baited out a TP towards the right and the omen in, in doesn't want to check it because he's smoker on his own so he accepts it, that he's lost B main KC control and that is a question like mark created especially with the prowler they just double check that this person's backed off so they know for sure scenario. question mark created reason that i'm focusing so much on the question marks is obviously because team heretics can't clear this that's why it's important for this one anybody's going to push in this direction and again it looks like an attempted split with mid control being a big part of the game for both sides that bike utility has been holding them back for quite a while and again they haven't really been able to take this control and yeah like They're we said with this they're really, really good at stopping map control. And we have, when this smoke goes, we are going to have a stun over towards middle. We just had the stun over towards middle from spawn to stop anyone from trying to push up. And then the smoke gets refreshed from the Viper. And at 40 seconds, we might, there might be a lot of potential melon spamming in this one. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's very slow at the moment. On site, we have two kill trips, camera that can potentially tag, and Breach, who might get his stun back soon. There's a lot to work with. That stun has done a bunch. Rianz is pushed out of position, but they're not there yet. Only now making 15 it to the 15 seconds left. Still a trap up that they're going to walk right into. Free wall bank for Benji. He's just biding time on the site. But and we get the plant for heaven. Rianz out of play. There's no denying that. That yeah. plant is coming through. And instead, plant the within 10 seconds. To not too bad. A little bit close, but four. not the too bad. The disadvantage is palpable. And the way back through isn't easy. At least a Viper wall to block an angle. But Patatech now down to 30 HP. It's going to be Boo that has to do the heavy lifting, and they have no idea where these other players are. Everything to work with for KC. It's still losable. Yeah, they've got to be careful not to overextend, but with two players yeah, in the close player cubby, you have to think there isn't much of a chance. Magnum even just looking to support. Takes he did, a lot he did of damage, good damage. Boo needs to get a move on. Doesn't really have oh, much time smoke. left on the clock to play with. Needs to get on this almost okay, immediately. No time and Magnum's just going to go running straight through. Tell you what, though. No K-Cop win their first round. Taken. If they lose, they'll start getting 1,900, and the person that stayed alive has to rebuy armor, and four people have to buy a gun. So it is not the best, not a clean round to win for them. Especially around middle, that there were players there. There was too much util to fight through, and most importantly, the clock was running a little bit low. So they shift focus, move back towards that A site, and burst out. Very efficient. And again, you look at some of that utility, you would have had a player, Rians, playing an elbow, being able to have that second angle. And instead, he's pushed back by all their utility, has to play on site, and takes a pretty disadvantageous fight, considering there were three guns pointing back the other way. Then they can isolate Ben. <laughs> really nicely done. <laughs> I, want to see I don't know if you're trolling with this question or I'm not. Why can't the players see all the enemies yeah, like we do? That, that's the thing I that's mean, that would, it would make sure for an awful game, bro. Quite a lot of the utility from, say, and a few <laughs> everyone could like, just that's see that's everyone through the wall. <laughs> I mean, that would be a horrendous play, game. The poison orb or a smoke. Like, that's constantly been going down. So playing later into the round at least gives them the ability to avoid a lot of that utility. The problem is I don't feel like they're pressuring too much. Like, Miniboo in that round prior, having his nade at the very end of the I round. I do abuse so Heretic's really comp. That, that so um, cool at the moment, K-Corp in my opinion. So, pressure, so in my opinion... Either, uh, K-Corp 100% should be going fast A heaven pretty much every other round. I would be fine with it every round because you want to go fast A heaven. You want to at least create the question mark that you're over towards here. When you go fast A heaven, the Viper immediately kind of has to react in terms of potentially getting pinched from vents and from middle. So the Viper then has to go over towards A heaven. Then there's loads of question marks everywhere. Then their defense is split up and then it's easy. This round is just an ult where they go over towards site. But that's how I would play it in like the non all rounds that they have. Is fully clear. Heretics were aware that this was that's, exactly that's pretty much, um, you know, when you see teams that are doing the heavy Viper and you can't get free middle, that's always just the best way to do it. Just go up A ramp heavy um, and then force the rotate off, make this guy not feel comfortable. Oh, timing's gonna be everything. He's got him, surely. 
It's actually going to be the facing big, the other way. Big way, jewel from Mini Buddha. And this Teva might be everything when they come out. He's now watching and he will win that from above. Narei even going to pop his ult. There's a chance for a lot of damage, but he gets absolutely nothing for it. It doesn't matter with the Uka kind of wrecked from it. Oh my. Now Tom is he outside the site. They already knew where he is, but he's been revealed. And he can't do anything from this position. Damn. He needs to find a kill. Yeah, give me that replay. Back at home right now has pulled out a worldie. Yeah, that was an unbelievable round from him. If I'm not mistaken, the second kill probably wasn't even intentional. He came in to trade his teammate and just got a little bit more than he bargained for. But in a the razor, way, yeah, kills, someone survived on 30 HP. Third, and a gorgeous farming round for him. <laughs> Yo, he just pulled his gun out. The thing is, like, Shin there, even clearing that angle to begin with is kind of like, okay, you're oh, really doing we don't have his replay. You came up against they the don't have his POV. First time, every time. And that was the thing we were really impressed with in their first matchup. Mini Boo and Boo, especially Boo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The no Outdid replay. By country mile. Like, the no replay. An unreal game. <laughs> yeah. Skills back to back. I mean, Savage. it's just unreal from a guy IGLing a younger team. Why wouldn't they, they show it? They don't have it. They work with Why? KC, don't have a lot. I was going to disrespect this realm, but Narek got extremely close and even put Rien's down to what? 60 okay, back to HP, back, no just shields. sending it over towards A site for Kako. They get over towards done, the site, but at what cost? Yeah, too low. They really get out of this. The judge on Shin perhaps stands a chance, but it's not like they've got the ideal close range angle. They'll even. Oh, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> <to> go <forward. laughs> Wait, no one's checked Shin. From Martin, and they've not even spotted Shin. Now he's nice and close. The judge in hand as he wraps on site. But it's being diffused. Plant to what's heaven. Already, Magnum needs to peek. Off He's it. the only one that can stop it. Bro, He's Shin's, seen, no, not Shin just wrecks them, right? To buy some more time, deal some damage, make it easier for Shin to finish those yeah. players off. And although Patatech found the kill, you had the grab well oh. used up. Patatech picks wow, the Wow, I can't believe they lost that one. I think. I think win, at one point at there, cost. Shin's yeah, got to be sending that. Again, he was—he uh, had a bit of a rough start in their first match, but top of the ball. I right think now, when they spot them double over towards heaven, when he's jeweled it, he, he should be running around the corner. They still probably lose. The spam initially almost lost the teammate, trading out Martin, who would have been behind them. But every single one of these was a massively high like impact kill. The man above, and then the final one as well. Like, yeah, that was they needed to—they needed him, to calm that a bit better. The danger of this KC roster. At any moment, they can take over. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like they've had such a. Is it just me or did Big look like he's about to give a TED talk? <laughs> like just with the, it's the mic across the face. I don't know yeah. why. It's just. He's gonna teach oh us something, guys. I'm ready. I'm sure he's got plenty to teach. Perhaps Boo has time for a lesson. He's out of this round. Gets to sit back and watch the squad play it out. Viper's Pit was used on B. Started this round for Team Heretics. That's a Astra ton of Astra Ult, they are just back, well back to back A hitting. Astra Ult with a little cubby. Yeah, Boo is all over that one. They saw the uh, they saw the other demo, and they know they got to be looking out for that. Third kill and puts KC miles in the lead with a plant down and plenty of time for two v three retake. K Corp really need this win. The rate still has his needs. A lot of damage taken in the last round, so whether they go for this or uh, not. Patty Tech has a smoke for vision really block if them. it ever gets to that. I doubt it. Thomas he weighing on the close angle. Oh my god, the nades on the head. Such an awkward spot. Now Benji left. 82 HP. Three players to find and not a lot of time to do it. Would need to hit something pretty quickly. Does manage the first, but the other two players are wrapping round behind him together. He's actually predicted it for the trade. It's good. That Again. was honestly gave it gave it a good shot. The good news about that, um, for them at least, was he got two kills. Right, so there's only one person surviving. Same thing where they win a round, one person survives. Lost bonus reset, and this is uh, this is another eco. Not the healthiest of positions, and with a big round from Narey bursting them into the side, and despite Benji having a great read indeed. It has put them now in a spot that 6-2 down, they're able to fight. They should be back to 6-3. And Team Heretics could very quickly see this half snowball out of their favor. For KC, yeah, but it's a chance to find Heretics their way back with in. their own eco and on this. And this is good. Overall macro now that we've got rid of um, the ults. And this is what we were talking about, right? You create pressure over towards A heaven, then the person over towards mid has to kind of leave. And then... 
then you're good. But if we look at the minimap right now, they added in this trip. This trip is everything. I'm a big fan. If you watch my stream, you know I'm a big fan of this trip. I think it's broken. So they have the Viper wall, Viper smoke, sorry. And because they don't even go close, they know they don't have to worry about middle and they can stack the sights a little bit heavier. Put my cam up a bit. So they can't risk it. Thank you. All the spikes planted now for sure. KC seemed to have a great spot to play from. A lot of information. They can push up ramp towards heaven. Nobody was spotted. Rians is taking that space. He's ahead of the flash. And so is Vinny Boo. A quick double. And that's going to get the showstopper out of him. How much damage is that? 63. I see done. Damn. Low guns. Yeah, and they insta stick this lovely stun on top of it. They start, they hit with the camera as well. Oh my. That was really, really nice. Yep, very, very nice. Again, just the, the trip over towards middle meant there was no pressure middle, so they didn't have to worry about it. So the question marks that um, K Corp thought they created, they just hadn't actually created. And then they were just all together, all came down to the jewels at A Heaven. Second too late. Like it, it just seemed like they had the right idea with all the utility they were using. Just the timing was off by such a small amount, and that gave the space. And then obviously heretics just hitting some crazy shots, winning some great duels. And again, the thing I loved about watching this That's team. The in trip in middle. Match, they just that we saw it. Together. Their trades are and heretics the really need to go middle and find this. They play so well together. Like it can be hard to get that attack side going, but that really felt like KC's... Dude, that, dude, he did good damage. 38, 90. He had to step right through it, but the door now shut in their face. And they're left down to pistols. Somewhere they've at least found damage before. We'll hope for that again. Only a couple of rounds Nade left goes to in. in this half. Trip still not broken, so they know that they can keep going close here. Something to work with. One shot to the sheriff. There we go. They find it out. See? Time to get going was last round. How is that headshot? Has been <laughs> shut down and it's spotted. No, players mid and you've got players coming up right into A heaven. They know at this point that what we're looking at is an A split. Dude, this That's is a intention. solid defense so from Heretics. Rotate around. Rian's now backing them up with this utility, and that's going to slow KC. You can see how these rounds have come down to the last few seconds with just how much Heretics like to stall them. Again. 30 Heretics seconds, they get over towards A. Three people here. Benji has one cage to play around. That's it. Trip over towards A main as well, giving them good info. Yeah, he's just out here tapping away. Fifteen seconds, and they try to rotate through spawn. Damn, they look a little bit lost in some of these rounds. Maybe they can save that singular rifle, but they are not getting anything from this round. Lovely shots at the end here from Benji. An easy cleanup for him. As they now have their eighth, this defense looking Yeah, this is, this is giving back the like old K-Corp vibes really for sure. Just the sitting over towards A heaven. Time, no 30 seconds, just chilling up there for about 15 go, seconds. <laughs> Having a player 20 seconds in, egg shouting time. That's a, that's a good idea. I like <laughs> trying to bait out a gunfight, something that heretics have Savage. been avoiding every step of the way. If they can avoid a gunfight and use utility to keep you back, they will do it. So the idea is to just swing, make that player swing after the trap to see if there's someone there and you'll take his head off. Unfortunately, Magnum got his head ripped off, and this is happening. Okay, they go back and they do their pistol strat as well. Pistol strat, they go over towards... I mean, this is good info. I would love to see a boombot from him, but they also don't want to let them know that they have bailed from this push. So he actually did great to get out of here. And, yeah, they think one might be in sewers. So Astra at the moment wanting to create pressure, like they're pushing over towards A heaven, but has to just be watching for the flank. And look at them all, just watching for it as well, watching for a push down mid, watching for a... And this is nice from Heretics. I tell you, they're, they're, playing, uh, they're playing outrageously good at the moment. The overall macro play as well, how they've been, uh, what they've been doing has been so nice. There's still been plenty left for Heretics to use. Even right now, Look at this trip as well, back of sight for the TP that goes there to get info. Yeah, and we just play retake over towards site because they know they're going to go in with these ults. We have Yoru ult, you have a potential Razor that they would use to enter the site, so they decided to just call retake. We need to keep a look at Astra here because at the moment, k should be winning this round. And with the showstopper still cocked and ready to go from Narrate, 
when does Astra go? Well, oh. this flank from Shin that I mean, just a disgusting Perfect. lurk. He's still able to have impact, of course, with those stars. Yeah, they've broken the trip at the back. Nade going through, showstopper still available. It can be popped at oh. any moment, and to be honest, it's gonna be used right now. Boo. Oh, <gasps> mini boo. Oh, guys, you know he's flank. It can stick almost. No vision block. He has Astra suck. He still has a grab well. And it is going to stop that defusal. Not to half yet either. So they have no idea where he's coming from. Shim just looking half. to wrap back around. If he can kill the guy. Defusing here's a chance. But Miniboo's just not missing. What? A third headshot of the round. A ninth round onto the board. Miniboo's unreal. To get them in and slow them down. It is not enough to stop Team Heretics. I don't know what Patatek just called crazy. But I, I think it might have been Miniboo. That, Maybe that this. Oh, absolutely definitely that. Absolutely ridiculous for this guy to be able to do that. With such low. HP going into those fights as well. And, uh, <laughs> you just say calm it down, you know. Easy, <laughs> easy, no problem. Relax, guys. Come on, it wasn't Come a big on, I'm, play. I'm 16 and 7. 16 you know, to 7. Fun. Yeah, we talked about yesterday being being Boo's day, and he was outperforming Mini Boo. He was looking unreal, consistent as well. 26 oh, kills. Each has been this time, very well, nice to watch. To take a little bit of a back step. Yeah, you know, he doesn't need to. He's still positive, but uh, not quite as positive. Stun as in. Spray down from Spam here could be deadly. Decent chance when they're in this choke point. That reveals on. Of course, it's only going to be a decoy on its way through. There's the real. <laughs> out, of all the, out of all of the numbers. For and for <laughs> he had like four people. Hand, and this round, the last of the half, may just be KC's. Short of some absolutely insane heroics from Boo and Patatek. Yeah, like a <laughs> yeah, there's 75% chance to shoot one that wasn't a clone. That was so funny. They've been able to pull off so many ridiculous rounds. The only rounds they won were just straight up A hits. Game, but not this time out. KC will at least manage to get themselves a third, get something done on the attack, which, as, as we sort of said, with this sort of composition, there's definitely opportunities. I'm, I'm definitely intrigued to see how they're going to be playing this one on the defense because, again, it, it has to be relatively explosive when you're running this raise in combination with Yoru. They do have a lot of setup. I feel like Shin will be able to put some pieces Three rounds in enough. for them to play with. But the fact is, I feel like Nilzino has got to be very happy with how his. If they play right against the. That was a light out if they play right them. against the no, uh, no drone initiator, in then yeah. They pretty much the got to win a pistol KC, to have money to get offs out, I think. Side, you had questions, uh, and I think there's there's going to be answers about how Team Heretics play the attack. But if Miniboo can keep hitting shots the way he is, even Rians, sitting on a breach, 12 and Let's 6, see. he's been yeah. looking very it, good, popping off individually. They need, they need the pistol, not just because it's 9 free, but obviously, uh, because they need they money. I feel like an op against this, they get wrecked. Judge also, Bucky also, I would with. like to be seeing, but... No rain. With the boom bot, the oh. flash from our team. Heavy mid Seize, setup here. for Magnum and the paranoia. So plenty of setup, but you almost feel like if they fail on whatever initial plan they have, it could go very wrong. It looks yeah. like they're about to go for it Take now. looking good for this. Oh, nade miss is, unless that's where it's meant to go. The They've just used pretty much every single piece of utility by the boom bot and a flash. Yep. And they, and got, they got nothing, nothing. Uh, yeah. worlds apart from what we've seen from Heretics keeping their util till late round, you know, here. This it, might work out well though. K Corp about to push over towards dump. B. I don't know if the issue is this camera, right? if Benji checks it, which he just did, I think, or they at least shot it. Oh, yeah. And I don't know how many he uh, saw, well, but we get the pings out. Alliance, so that's, and then it's going to hit over towards A site, and this you is know, a hard retake now because they just used all of their util at middle. We've got, the, we got a flash and a smoke, really. They've got an A site wide open. The poison orb up top, well, it's not there anymore, but luckily no one's peeking, so plant will be found for free from the retake. For KC now, having used up all of that okay. utility early on, they don't have a ton to clear these angles. Instead, have to rely on individual prowess on winning aim duels. Mini Boo goes down after one. That's a good Ooh, sign. The Viper Benji's smoke heaven, around. and they've got a decent idea where he is, as That's well sad. as Boo still being so far away. They cannot That's even savage. deal with the first man, let alone the rest. Team Heretics 10 rounds on the board. They are looking uncontested Damn. on KC's map pick. The whole, yeah, the, again, the whole macro of, areas, of how Heretics have been playing is just like KC's perfect. Like, he, a lot it's of wild. Mid. They go for something aggressive. Everyone's, everyone's the great. Are a I like this. I like a lot of this. Seize catches them alongside the paranoia <laughs> and a nade. They yeah, and they kind of look crispy as well. Everyone's just round. insta headshot. They're a little bit further back, a little bit more tentative on Heretic's side. 
I love this man. Mini Boo does like a sick clip and he's telling everyone to chill out, but his teammate pops off and he's just going wild. That's sick. Buying bonds versus roulette. You know, different investment approaches, and uh, for KC, it has not worked out. Now, the blue the hype man. to move into A, to find it open again, and Team Heretics are very much correct in the assumption. It, it's wide open. For KC, how do we get back in with uh, classics? And very little in terms of the, the hard hitting yeah. util combos. No ultimates to play with. Well, let's see. Reveal, nade, not much to be found. And once they see these rifles, Tom, I expect that this retake will crumble. Really, it's all about that next round and how much damage they can do. But yeah, the main thing I'm looking at as well is re -ends because you've got those three rifles. They need to be saved. But if he can maybe farm up some orbs, oh, okay. spray down from Boo, but that is one of the guns. And that, that's the thing. Narrate can either opt to throw this out of the map, die to the spike, or nah, yes. just keep it and run it in the next round himself. So that is definitely going to make things that little bit more costly than would have been like for the side of Heretics. They'll still probably come in with a fairly solid buy. Benji likely to buy back in with a rifle. So not really the end of the world, but probably a little the bit amount frustrating. The amount of firepower with Heretics is crazy. Again, yeah, if, especially if Boo's fragging. Because so you, you don't expect <laughs> Boo to be fragging. Be okay you know, and, a and honestly, I'm not sure we'll see uh, the kind of levels of lead, that we saw yesterday no that often. Back to bite them. It would be but they also, would be in theory, don't need that if uh, everyone else is there. Um, El Gecko 42 with the three months. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. All that stands between them Thank you for the prime, bro. Victory. KC are going to have nothing left if they lose this one. And ults aren't going to be Add Woot as well. Yeah, it's true. It, Tom. This is where it, Had to text an aim to be fair. So far, it just got a lot worse. It's in order. 18, 12, 11, 11, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5. There we go. Um, okay, K Corp got to pull a bit of madness here. Starts with the Byrons. Your team is the bottom on the other. The beautiful sadness. Oh, I like this paranoia through play from the raid. He's not used the nade. Luckily, that player had TP'd out of the corner, so would have just been a wasted piece of utility. And keeping it in for, for later in the round, it could be essential for them. With another orb farmed up as well, he's still very far away from getting that showstopper, but it could help get it online before this game teeters out. Yeah, this is the thing though, similarly to Vitality, when they played yesterday versus Gentlemates, I, I think Heretics have got a very good read on, okay, they're playing Yoru Rays, they have to push them. So let's just be very ready, have a counter flash, have something available to stop them whenever they try and aggress. So, okay, you've used the Paranoia, we're going to just get out of there and reset, you've now wasted that piece of utility. And I, I think they're doing incredibly well at just making these sort of things very, very awkward. Does and that pull a rotate? Like that, small piece of information. Okay, you had an aggressive yeah. spot. Yeah. Even I in the vents, Jewel. You back. You don't have that information anymore. Does yep. he? You're gonna have to use some of your utility, some of your abilities for later on in the round. It's nice. Patatech might have a challenge yeah, here. Yeah, Magnum has to try and worry about two but angles here. He needs like to give it, get a better pause. Going down, but he was just checking it. Making sure no 20 seconds up, up to the two on site. They don't have too much stall. Magnum has a Teva. That's about it. Magnum, Teva, Martin, Flash. After shock is down, it's going to force him towards the site. We saw this from KC, a reactive flash. Man, what a flash, though. Oh, no. Yeah, and they're good to plant on this. The the util. Nice play, though. Narrate slows them. Nade in. It's a little late, but it might just get some damage. Maybe even the kill on Boo. No, he's out. 40 HP still. Benji. Oh, my God. He looks sick Three right now. Quick kills. And another nail seems hammered firmly in. Damn. KC's coffin. 12. <laughs> yeah, this this is a scary team when they look like this. It is taking tons and just free case. Some of the off you do sort of question a little bit, like, is he going to have that indoor individual ability when it comes to Valorant? Is he going to be at a high enough level to compete with these players? But right now, second of the board, he's had a fantastic game and he's been popping heads all the way through. And while a last ditch effort where we've always given applaud it's over to Eng and his coaching. If whatever he says here means they win nine rounds in a row, I, I, I think we just give him the champion's trophy now because that <laughs> would just be the most ridiculous <laughs> Dude, thing the most seen. relaxed. The words, Weber, man. I've never back. seen him look so Il relaxed. Zinho might just take the dub over Eng. The better coach confirmed on paper. <laughs> What can we say? I think Sue will come up here and fight you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I once it was a, I was a bit of a masterclass. And I'm looking at this year, stats after this game. It could just be leaning. You're not even going to wait till the end favor. of the best of three. You're just, just this map. It's 12-3 up on Casey's pick, Tom. It's true. He's the greatest of all time, isn't he? <laughs>
Minnie's Minnie's not even in the in the conversation anymore. Have I ever met Eng? Uh, nah, all of our all of our jewels to, uh, and all of the times like we were playing G2 were mostly online. On it I was like prime COVID era. <laughs> era? <laughs> era. No, that map was pain. That map was pain. Have I ever been so relaxed while coaching? Nah, not really. But either way, it's a lot of stressful. G2 fans at the time. Yeah, and yeah. After the time, yeah. They, they, they had a golden age at the very, right very, very beginning. Right very, very. Right. You beat the party okay. pirates. <laughs> Nine. Just some guys Angel found on the street. That's not me saying it. Nine chances. It. Well, this could be the last round of Casey's map pick. A quick. Yeah, and they got the dismantled. I don't wanna, don't wanna say that this sure. is their map pick, but this is their map pick. Their way through, already, the damage. The flashes were good, but Tamazi, Two v five, by the way, with the trades. Right to I have to take down low. Mini Boo plays the play. Yeah, this is nice. That was the play to, to do it. Brings it down to one v two. Eleven HP. Down it. Like clutch from Panatech needs to come through. Even the decoy to start off. He's not falling for it. Dude, imagine, imagine that was him, bro. That would have been the sickest play ever. Through the molly, no one would ever do it. No one would ever shoot that. Oh. Great shot from Panatek. One more needed, but not this time. A lifeline for Carmine Core. As they go 12 to 4. A nice try. Okay, well, count it down. It's going to put the economy of Eight chances left. As it has been throughout most of this game. The heretics they can buy back in comfortably showstopper online for the rate he's at least been putting up some numbers in this game he's been sort of the one shining light throughout mini boo though has been dominant 21 and 10 one away for a showstopper of his own and actually a lot of the ults starting to come along that's the real worry is is you might be able to bring back a couple of these rounds but eventually there's going to be a rolling thunder of viper's pit and and it's going to become very very difficult to hold on to those rounds that's it. That's a, that's the problem with being this far behind. They can just probably have two old dump rounds. Oh, I like that closes. little. I like that little play. Winning even one of those. Mini boom. The first to start punishing. Right click your clone oh, and then. Oh, the man, man, this, this guy. Nah. How is he alive? It looks like a Fifteen. Hands, and it's How is he alive? It looks like Mini Boo's just booked them. A 1-0 start to the series. Martin, that's unlucky. This Good night, problem is that they're 12 the 4 ups. Of course, they're just sending it for a smoke. Four. The world against him. Let's see if he can stand strong. I'm not feeling it with that bulldog with the full HP on everybody other than Mini Boo. And from what we've seen, he certainly doesn't need it. Just delaying the inevitable. And they annihilated them. That, de that defense KC. was like. Beautiful. I'm sure the rest of the um, squad already thinking about their setup. Double pistol Lotus though, right? How they're gonna play out. I hope for their sake. Can't remember how the first pistol went. The youngster at least able to find one. But just look at the setup. He's got a peek in, he knew it was coming. Heretics, Savage. They're gonna dominate map number one, and I'll be honest with you, Mitch. Maybe maybe last year you didn't watch the Spanish League, you didn't see Mini Boo. Maybe after his first game.